Hello everyone, Ruben here. This morning, the Lord put this in my heart to do this video about the situation that's going on throughout the world. In the Holy Bible, 1 King chapter 22, verse 20 to 22. I'm going to read the note of that scripture, and then I'm going to continue on in this process. Does God allow angels to entice people to do evil? To understand evil, one must first understand God. Number one, God himself is good. Psalms chapter 11, verse 7. Number two, God created a good world that fell because of man's sin. Roman chapter 5, verse 12. Number three, someday God will recreate the world and it will be good again. Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. Number four, God is stronger than evil. Matthew chapter 13, verse 41 through 43. In Revelation chapter 19, verse 11 through 21. Number five. God allows evil, and thus he has control over it. God did not create evil. And he offers help to those who wish to overcome it. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. Number six. God uses everything, both good and evil, for his good purpose, Roman chapter 8, verse 28. The Bible shows us a God who hates all evil and will one day do away with it completely and forever. Revelation chapter 20, 10 through 15. God does not entice anyone to become evil. Those commitment to evil, however, may be used by God to sin even more in order to hurry their deserved judgment. Exodus chapter 11, verse 10. We don't need to understand every detail of how God works in order to have perfect confidence in his absolute power over evil and his total goodness toward, toward us.